So, Dinorwick, part three. Uh, now, uh, I was going to go to a slightly different area of Dinorwick from the previous part, but if you remember in part two, um, I'd cut it short a little bit because of the weather. Well, I finally got the weather that I was looking for for the shots. The two, well, I've got two shots that I want to get. Um, and uh, I'm up on the, uh, the upper levels um, east of Australia. And if you kind of turn around and look down there, it's quite a, quite a way down. Um, <clears throat> you'll see I'm above the, the, the main quarry, um, the big quarry in, uh, uh, in Norwich, Australia. Okay, so I'm on the cabin hut level. If I swing around, uh, there, there is the cabin hut. Um, cabin hut. Anyway, so um, so yeah, two uh, two images that I wanted to get. Um, now the problem that I had before uh, is that um, beyond the mist there, there's a big slate wall, and um, there's two images um, shoot, shooting towards that slate wall. Uh, one has got this this dolly carriage thing. Um, I've been wanting to get that for a while, um, and then there's a tree further up. Um, which I also want to get. There's a couple of nice lead-in lines and things, um, but uh, but but without the mist, um, everything just gets just gets lost uh, in the image. It's never worked until uh, today. So um, so yeah, I uh, I'm for this particular shot. I'm using um, the Loxia uh, 50 mil. Um, just get rid of this magic cloth which I've put on here. Um, Anyway, there we go, um, and you'll get the basic idea if you just have a look on the back of the camera, if you can see that, not entirely sure you can see that, but um, uh, but yeah, so um, I've got this nice kind of lead in line of the, of the wall um, heading towards the, the, the carriage thing at the back there. Um, and then there's just enough mist just to obscure um, that back wall of slate. Um, so perfect, perfect. Um, this is what I've been after. Boom! Um, yeah, uh, anyway, I uh, thought uh, you might like to see that. Uh, and now I'm gonna go further than we did in the previous vlog um, up to the next level and go and find this tree, get an image of that, hopefully. And, uh, and then, um, we're gonna go across the top to the cutting sheds and things and then come down the other side. Um, so, let's see what, um, where our adventures take us. Isn't that just fine and dandy? Mother nature being a bit of a bitch. Um, so about five minutes ago, I, uh, I, uh, I shot the previous um, uh, scene and it was all lovely and clagged in, which is what I've been waiting for. And in the five minutes it took me to get up one more level and across to this tree, uh, which was my intended um, subject, um, the clags lifted. And in fact, the sun is even coming out, um, which is just brilliant, isn't it? Um, so it's another one to come back to in future. My time here is not done just yet. Um, might have a play with it anyway, but um, as you can see, the tree is kind of lost against the slate in the background. Um, 
sådan. disappointed with that tree but uh, now come to um, kind of the top level that we're going to go to there's a there's uh, two or three levels higher um, but uh, there's not really uh, much going on up there now when you get up um, there's another level above well kind of two actually um, where I was with the tree uh, you get to here um, <clears throat> this um, uh, sort of machine room. I'm not entirely not entirely sure What it was um, but there's uh, all sorts of detritus Up here old machinery and things laying around on the floor which might make some um, some interesting uh, Images if you're so inclined now. I'm just gonna go inside uh, ooh, It's a bit dark. Let's see if I can uh, there we go. There we go. You can just about see what's going on there so there's this massive um, wheel in here um, which is quite uh, quite interesting um, and then you can walk through the buildings into some of uh, the uh, the other rooms as well there's all sorts of things so it's kind of um, some kind of internals that you could do using the natural light uh, through the windows um, which uh, might make some kind of compelling image now I quite like oh look there's another big um, forgot about that one um, there's another big sort of machine uh, in there I don't know if you can see that uh, possibly um, <coughs> Uh, but I've always quite liked this, this thing here, um, and uh, it's kind of, on a right day, I think, uh, it'd make a nice piece of foreground interest for the mountains in the background. Um, I don't really think there's enough going on uh, today um, to warrant taking a shot. It'd be really nice if I'd got here a bit earlier. Um, or actually on a, a really sort of showery, blustery day uh, where you've got showers coming through the valley um, uh, just to just to liven the image up I think uh, this could make quite an interesting um, interesting foreground anyway um, it's all very interesting up here uh, if you keep on walking along this level you eventually get to the cutting shed uh, I can just see it now um, so we're going to go and check that out now I've seen photos from the cutting shed. I've never really seen anything that, that grabs me, and um, I kind of, I kind of want to be up here in conditions um, that I had earlier. Um, it's a really heavy um, clag, uh, and I think there's an image if if that clag gets into the cutting shed, um, which it would do because it's kind of lost its roof. Um, I think there's possibly. A, uh, a, a wide angle image in there with the um, with the cutting tables uh, receding into the distance um, and into the clag. I think that'd be quite nice. So um, uh, if anyone sees this and they come up here and it's a bit claggy, um, uh, it's probably a shot worth trying to get and I'll be pretty jealous um, if it works out. Um, what um, what this place um, does give you is quite a nice angle into la 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 the, the lost world. Um, you can't get into the lost world 
uh, without um, ropes and harnesses and things. It's a bit of a, well, it's pretty treacherous um, getting down to it. And there is a tunnel uh, out, but at the other end of the tunnel, you have to drop down about 15 feet, um, which is why you really do need the rope. Um, it's not something that you can do uh, by scrambling. Um, but yeah, um, on the same level as the cabin hut, now, I didn't take you there um, today, but I, I did think about it. But um, uh, if you walk, when you get to the top of the grand staircase, if you take, if you go left, you get to the, uh, the cabin hut. If you turn right, um, then uh, it's about a 50, 50 to 100 meter walk to the end of that level and it takes you to the edge of um, the lost world and there is a there is an image through um, through this notch uh, is that am I getting that um, there's a big notch in the um, uh, in the stone in the in the rock um, so yeah there's a there's kind of a few images down there. there's a little canyon you can go through and if you time it right um, then uh, there's lots of grasses coming down, black walls of sludge and stuff. But um, yeah, you can get some nice, um, you can kind of get some nice images there. I've never really done it justice myself, um, but it's, it's one that I've sort of got a mind to go back to at some point. Um, but yeah, there we go. You can see just behind me, uh, uh, over there, um, that's the cutting shed. So uh, we're going to go and check it out. Um, and uh, you can have a good, uh, a good look at that. Uh, and then when we've gone past there, uh, there isn't much beyond it. Um, so it's kind of a case of uh, skirting around an incline and then um, heading down. We're gonna see what uh, we can find on the way down. Um, it's not a route I've previously done. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I've been up here a few times, uh, but I've always gone back the way I came, and uh, I think today, yeah, we're going to go and go for a little bit of explore. So this is um, this will all be new for me, as well as being new for you too. Now, no sooner had I turned the uh, camera off, I turned around, and um, I've noticed there's some cloud coming in. Um, I think it's going to be quite brief. I've had a um, choice of whether to go back down to that tree but I'm actually going to leave that one uh, until the autumn until those learns t uh, le leaves turn um, and I hope I just get a claggy day while I'm up here I'm um, here in October for a week so any clag comes in that week and the leaves are still on the trees that's my destination as well as one or two other places I've got in mind as well but um, uh, yeah kind of rushing now a little bit um, might be able to get, might be able to make this work. Um, this uh, hill fog is coming in rapidly, but I don't think it's going to stick around. Uh, so, fingers crossed, might be able to get something out of this cutting shed after all. Um, yeah, I'm not sure whether that worked, but we'll, we'll wait and see. Um, right, it's worth remembering, and I think I've probably mentioned this before, that uh, um, the quarry is a derelict site and there are hazards everywhere, and this is a really um, good example. Now, I was here about a year ago, maybe just a little bit um, more. Um, this roof was up there. It was still... Um, it was still standing, so um, uh, yeah, uh, you just got to be 
you just got to be really careful with some of these buildings because they are literally falling apart and that's uh, obviously come down uh, since so uh so yeah safety is in jesus christ safety is important like uh, not slipping on a flipping rail line um anyway concentrate greg um so now uh yeah this so there's this de derelict wheelhouse just past the um just past the cutting shed you can see the cutting shed there um and then there is a fence um and uh yeah i don't think it's it's i don't think it's worth going on um going uh, along the fence so um we have to get down from here and uh if you just cross over this uh this little bridge here um and come around the other side of the wheelhouse uh there is a little bit of a path that um goes down here So yeah, goes down there, um, and then you can walk down the incline. You've just got to be very, very careful. Um, don't stand on any um, old bits of rail, for example. Okay, I'm just stopping here because um, this is not a fun descent. Um, yeah, only really uh, attempt to come down here uh, if you're absolutely sure of uh, your footing. Um, it's a bit of a bit of a knee knee buster, but uh, I've stopped here just because I kind of like this here. Now you have to appreciate. Obviously, it's all clagged in at the minute, um, but normally over there is Snowden. Uh, so. Um, uh, and the horns just uh, over here as well. So, so I think on um, a more interesting day, where there isn't this this like flat line of cloud, um, it just does not work. Where you when you get that that flat line in pretty much any image, um, really in the mountains, um, uh, you you, you want to if if you're going to do it on a cloudy day, you want to have undulation and the cloud breaks here and there and all sorts of things. Um, but um, that just doesn't work. But um, on a different day, I think uh, this might make a nice composition here because um, it's um, it's kind of like curling around the corner, and then you've got the the, the head of the valley, um, Penny Pass. You could probably, well, Penny Pass is kind of around the corner, but um, that valley's heading up uh, uh, heading up that way. So I think it might be might be a shot. Um, so um, yeah, just not today. Um, but anyway, um, I think there might be a tunnel over here, um, so I'm going to go and have a, going to go and check that out uh, and uh, see where this takes us. <sighs> Little fly, right? So, the lost world. <laughs> ah. um, ooh. Yeah, so earlier on when I mentioned the, um, uh, the cabin hut level, if you walk um, along there about 100 meters, it brings you out basically uh, to where that tree is there. Um, so you can look down the other side. Uh, never seen it from this side. It's um, it looks a lot more interesting because, of course, you can't really look over the edge uh, too much on the other on the other side. But looking back at it, there's some nice trees down here. Yeah, um, I think uh, I think when autumn comes along, if we get an autumn, um, and they start to turn shades of yellow and things, um, that could be quite interesting. Uh, but yeah. Worth coming along and having a look. Nothing doing today. Um, I'm not going to get too close to the edge. Um, don't want to give my mum a heart attack. But um,
Hmm, interesting walls. Right, okay. Um, continue down the incline. So that's uh, definitely um, a bit of a knee breaker. Uh, coming down that uh, incline, but about halfway down there's some stairs on the left hand side which are pretty good. Um, and, uh, and that takes you to this halfway point and there's a drum house just here. Now if you turn right at the drum house and cross a couple of fences, you come to this bad boy. Yee! There we go. Um, not really a photo photographic subject anymore, but um, this uh, little railway track a few years ago, it extended straight across, connected to the other side, um, and people used to shimmy across it. Uh, I think there's a few um, YouTube videos of people doing that, if you want to look them up. Um, but then uh, somebody safety conscious uh, took note of this, and um, I believe came and cut the uh, cut the track to stop people from doing it, which is a shame. But um, nice view down into. Um, I think that's Matilda, I'm not sure, I think it's Matilda. Um, uh, quarry pit, um, Matilda or Victoria or something. Uh, but yeah, um, there's a nice little tree. Uh, see that little tree just there on the, there? Um, kind of sticking out, keeps on catching the sun. Um, I took, I'm taking a photo of it, but it's, uh, um, not particularly inspiring, but um, yeah, I think um, I think again, uh, this kind of place, this place needs mood. It really does. And now the sun is out, and uh, we've got blue skies and um, and things. And um, and the quarry is a nice place to explore in these conditions. Don't get me wrong, um, but photographically, it loses its magic. I find. Of course, you can go in. Wow, there is a big... Don't know if you heard that. Um, a really big rock fall just happened then. Um, down in, uh, down in uh, the, the, the quarry. Um, <coughs> I hope nobody was... Uh, I hope nobody was climbing. I didn't hear any... Didn't hear any shouts, didn't hear any goats scream or anything like that. So I wonder what caused that. Um, but yeah... Um, Obviously, yeah, you can go into the tunnels and things like that when it's um, when it's sunny, or go and seek out the shade, the shady points. But um, uh, on this side of the quarry, um, there's not really much in the way of shade. Um, so, uh, so I, I think today is um, pretty much done photographically. I'm going to continue down. If I see anything interesting, um, I will point it out um, and uh, you know make a note, make a note of um, this this part of the quarry uh, is going to be good um, uh, in autumn. There are one or two trees around. Uh, there's one just up over there. Woo. Um, one over there and um, uh, set against the slate. Um, so there's some nice um, tree subjects. Uh, so uh, in autumn when all the trees start to go yellow and brown and red, um, definitely um, worth venturing here on a slightly um, damp day, cloudy day, overcast, anything like that. Um, and uh, and yeah, if it gets really claggy, there's a lot of there's a lot of nice buildings and leading lines and all sorts of things all over the place. So um, uh, worth exploring. Um, but uh, but yeah, on a day, woo, on a day like today, um, now. Uh, if you're going to come to the quarry, you kind of want to stick over to uh, the western side where there's a bit more, a bit more in the way of shade. So, um, um, yeah. I'm going to try not to fall like that rock did. Ooh. Ooh. So, um, yeah, it got down to the bottom of the incline. Um, just beware that it's quite a long descent and um, it really does uh, shock the knees coming uh, coming down. So um, anyway, that's the uh, that's kind of the upper eastern um, end of the uh, quarry. And like I say, I think there's over this uh, this side. I think in certain weather conditions, there are definitely uh, compositions to be had. Um, not necessarily today. There's a really nice tree that I'm just walking past, and um, 
oh, I don't know if I can be bothered to take a photo of it. But um, uh, so um, uh, when you get down to the bottom of the incline, uh, you are then on the um, the, the main uh, public right of way um, through the middle of the quarry, and you just um, you just take a take a right and. Um, that takes you back to Australia and then back to the bus stop, um, uh, the bus stop car park, um, which you will have seen in uh, the first vlog. So, um, so yeah, all pretty easy. Now, join me next time um, for uh, well, not the next vlog, but um, at some point in the autumn, I will post the um, final part of this uh, of this tour of um, of Dunorwick um, and. Uh, then we'll be having a look at some of the lower levels and the lower eastern side. Um, there is a tree that uh, I saw many years ago. Um, and uh, I'm just waiting for the, the leaves to turn and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, I'm going to be able to get an image of that tree that I've been after for so long. Um, so, uh, so yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if uh, if you did, um, please like the video and um, subscribe. Um, that would be appreciated. Um, you don't have to, um, but it helps me in the long run um, to bring you more vlogs a bit like this one. God, that sun! Whew. Gosh, it's a lovely day. I'm only in my t-shirt now, um, but uh, that sun is pretty strong, and that's the problem with the slate quarry. Um, when the sun comes out. Uh, it all just reflects, so um, coming in the height of summer is not recommended. Um, about now, heading into autumn, through winter into spring is um, really pleasant, but it's not in the summer. But um, there we go, extra little bit of information. Um, see you soon. Keep on shooting. Boom. I think it's really important when you come into the outdoors to do photography uh, that um, you take some time out from the photography um, and the sun's coming out now so it's really it's turned from a quite claggy day to um, just turning out quite bright it's quite nice um, but yeah Nigel Danson mentioned, um, mentioned uh, this on one of those recent videos um, let's just take time out and just uh, just enjoy it, um, and think about all the footfall that has um, that has come before you, and that's um, no more apparent than uh, these quarries. Um, and it's really important to remember the history of these places and the, the men who lived here, and worked here, and uh, their families, um, and all the history that's gone before it and um, it's really worth visiting the um, the mining museum down in Clambaris um, just to get a sense a better sense of that history really but um, history is all around you here um, you know people lived and uh, lived in this area and worked here all their life um, and some died here as well so It's just nice to reflect.